everyone, welcome back. Today I have another anthropology inspired DIYs video for you guys. This is something you've really been loving here on my channel and I did promise you guys I would make another one of these. So that is what I have for you today. If you enjoy this video, make sure that you give it a thumbs up. If we can get this video to 4,000 thumbs up, I will go ahead and do another anthropology inspired video. Now also one of you requested, and I can't remember who it was, somebody requested Pottery Barn inspired DIYs and I don't remember if that video is going up right before or after this one. That video will be going up right around the same time. So I'll try to add that link in the description box below for you as well. So be sure to check that out. And if you're not already, make sure you click that red subscribe button and also don't forget to ring the little bell so you will receive notifications whenever I upload something new. Without further ado, let's get started and jump into these DIYs. So for the first one, I thought these trays were so pretty. I decided to recreate something similar to this one that Anthropology sells using these two wooden pieces that actually came as part of the packaging material from a side table that we ordered on Amazon. You can get some wood cut for you at Home Depot or Lowe's or go ahead and recycle something like I'm doing here or even get creative and use something from Dollar Tree for this. Maybe something like the bamboo cutting board Board that they carry. Personally, I have yet to see a bamboo cutting board in real life in any Dollar Tree I've been in, but I know that they were carrying them. So use whatever you have on hand or whatever you prefer. And then I just measured and cut the marble contact paper to cover the wood with. I found the perfect gold handles on Amazon, which I'll have a link for in the description box below if you're interested. They look really similar to the anthropology ones. I think they're just a little bit shorter. I'm making two of these trays. I'm gonna be putting them on our bedroom nightstands and I'm gonna just use the handle and line it up on the edge of the board here and measure where I want to drill the holes and then go back and screw in the handles. I use the smaller screws that they provided, but they did include a smaller and a longer set in case you need a different size. This was pretty easy to do and I didn't even bother covering the bottom because nobody's gonna see it anyway, but of course you could certainly cover it with the contact paper if you want to, it's totally up to you. Next, I was inspired by this mirror, and for this one, I picked up one of these round mirrors in Dollar Tree, and before we remove the frame, I'm gonna use a glass writer marker to line up with the edge and trace an inside circle here so it's even, and the glass writer marker can erase on glass if you need to, but you can probably use a regular marker or whatever you want for this because I didn't end up erasing anything anyway. I just removed the frame and cardboard backing and then I'm taking this gold leaf marker pen by Krylon. I'll have the link for this one as well if you want to check it out. It was really easy to use and did a beautiful job outlining and filling in the line that we drew on here to make a copper border on the mirror. I also did the same thing with this mini mirror that Dollar Tree sells in their candle holder section. This one actually has a little edge in the glass that you can just follow that line to make your line nice and neat. And then once that was dry, I took an old chain that I had lying around from a necklace. You can probably find something like this easily in a secondhand thrift store, yard sale, maybe even something in Dollar Tree, but I didn't look because I already had this on hand and I just decided to use this little chain since I already had it and just give you guys the idea with it. Anyway, I looped it under these two pads that are behind the mirror and I glued it there and pulled the top up straight where we're gonna be hanging it so that it ends up kind of looking like a triangle like this just so I can make sure that it's going to hang um, straight and in line. And then once the glue's had a chance to dry in there, I came back and then applied glue to those pads and placed them on top of the larger mirror like you see I'm doing here. Again, let that dry and then this turned out super pretty, although feel free to use some super glue or E6000 glue, anything like that as well, to be sure that it has an extra strong hold if you're worried about it being secure. It, I didn't bother because the hot glue really seemed to work okay and that way if I do need to pull these apart to repurpose them at any point in the future, I still can. I've been waiting for this, yeah. 
Moving on, I have another mirror, but let me just say, I think it's a really cute dupe for the anthropology version. However, the anthropology one is actually huge and mine is pretty small by comparison, but it's still really pretty and you can get all the pieces in Dollar Tree. You'll need another one of these round mirrors. And for this one, I'm just removing the black frame and leaving the cardboard. You'll need four packs of these wooden dowels from Dollar Tree as well. And basically I just estimated where about the one, where like one third of it would be. Of course, you can go ahead and measure these into thirds and make this exact if you want to. And I just use scissors to kind of dent and cut into the wood at that like one third and two thirds mark here. And then once I kind of made that dent in the wood with the scissors, I was able to just snap them. If you've got another suggestion for cutting these, feel free to leave it in the comments. If you have a saw or something like that, you could probably make this go pretty quick. Otherwise, just keep at it little by little and you'll get them done. I lined up the small pieces on the cardboard right up next to the mirror and then I alternated the larger pieces and placed them so they go up onto the mirror and then also extend off the mirror beyond where the shorter ones are, if that makes sense. So this is gonna have the same staggered look that the anthropology one has. Once I had enough pieces to go completely around the mirror, I took them outside to spray paint them gold and I also spray painted the cardboard backing piece gold as well, just in case any of that shows through in between the wooden pieces. I glued that cardboard piece back on behind the mirror and then one by one, I just glued the wood pieces in to place where I wanted them. And I think this does look a lot like the anthropology one. It's obviously much smaller, although I think it still looks really good. The bonus part with hanging this up is that the cardboard backing to the mirror actually does have a little hanger on it because the mirror was originally intended to hang up. So you don't even have to worry about that. It will already have a way to hang your mirror. Next, I wanted to show you guys this vase that Anthropology sells, and I really need your help with this one. I honestly debated not even sharing this with you because I'm not that happy with how it came out, but hopefully by me sharing it anyway, hopefully it's gonna inspire someone with an idea anyway. So here it goes. I was thinking that if you grab a vase like this from Dollar Tree and spray paint it white, you can get a good base on here. And my husband kind of thought it looked better if I had just left it white. So I don't know what that says about the vase, but anyway, I'll continue. So you spray paint it white, and then I'm just taking a variety of colors of the acrylic paints that Dollar Tree also carries, and I'm doing lines around the vase the way that the anthropology one is. And if you noticed on the anthropology one, the lines are wavy and uneven and it looks pretty cute and intentional like that. So don't even worry if your lines aren't perfect, just relax and enjoy. I tried painting lines with both a Dollar Tree paintbrush and with a Q-tip. The Q-tip might've been a little bit easier, but mine were coming out kind of messy and I, I'll be honest, I was kind of rushing to finish these. Although I did discover that Q-tip cotton swabs do work pretty well for neatening up any mistakes. I really feel like it could be so cute for spring and summer, maybe even for fall. And then I was mixing the colors on here. Go ahead and you can even experiment with like mixing different colors to create your own color combinations. And if you notice on the anthropology one, they actually have lines where the colors blend and they have like two different colors in the same line. So you can totally mix and match with your colors here and keep it interesting. Anyway, let me know your thoughts on this. I think mine is somewhere in the middle of being super cute and a total disaster, but definitely share any tips you have for getting the lines painted on here better. I don't know, maybe a different brush or something would have worked better. I'm not sure. I really feel like it could be so cute though for spring and summer, maybe even for fall. Anyway, if you're still here and you enjoyed this video, make sure that you do give it a thumbs up and let me know. And if we can get this video to 5,000 thumbs up, I will go ahead and upload a another video of anthropology inspired DIYs. Also comment below, let me know which one of these was your favorite or any tips you have for doing them better or even any other video requests that you have for me. Thank you so, so much for watching. Have a beautiful blessed day and I'll see you soon in the next one. Bye.